Joining us is our volunteer coordinator, Sharon Wagner. Thanks, Sharon, for coming on the show today. Um, we've been interviewing some volunteers, and now we need to know how do we get to be a volunteer at the Oshkosh Area Humane Society? What do I have to do if I want to come to the shelter and volunteer? Okay, the first thing you would need to do is fill out an application. Um, that's step one of the process. The, then you would attend orientation. And if you're interested in working with the animals here at the shelter, there are special classes that you need to attend. Um, there are other ways that you can help at the shelter. Um, Off-site, we have outreach events, we have canister banks, um, foster parenting. Um, if you'd like to cut grass or wash windows, there's always something for volunteers to do okay. here at the shelter. Um, why is it important? I, I know I do the cat classes. What, why do you think it's important that when people come to volunteer that they get some of that hands-on and general orientation information under the belt before they just come and volunteer? A lot of people say, you know, oh, I have dogs at home or I have cats at home and I, you know, I know how to handle dogs and cats and it's a little different here at the shelter. Um, the animals are under some stress here. It's not a home environment as much as we try to make it a home environment. Um, there's lots of noise and chaos and different people coming and going. So um, we teach uh, the volunteers about uh, behavior, body language for cats and for dogs, the proper way to approach a cat and a dog, um, even small mammals, there's certain ways to approach them and make them feel more comfortable. Okay, so the bottom line is, is it's, it's a safety issue. Not only do we want to keep the animals safe, but we want the volunteers' experience to be a safe experience and, and a relaxing one. Right, you know, definitely. I mean, we want to make sure that people can uh, enjoy their experience in here and we want to keep the volunteers safe as well as the dogs and the cats and the small mammals safe. Okay. Um, is the ongoing orientation and volunteer sessions, is that you know once or twice a year or how, how can people find that information? You can always call the shelter or you can visit the website. Um, we have uh, nine volunteer sessions. Um, we don't have classes in uh, December because it is such a busy month and yeah. a couple of months in the summertime. So. Uh, but you can always check us out on the website and, and find out about classes or give us a call and I'd be more than happy to give you some information. Yeah. Now, I know that in addition to being the volunteer coordinator, you're also a caregiver uh, for the animals. And how do you think, in your opinion, what, what are some of the benefits that, to the staff by having volunteers come on board and, and working with the animals? Well, you know, Oshkosh Humane Society was founded on, it, our foundation is our volunteers and that's why we're where we're at today is a group of volunteers got together and want to make things better for the animals at the city pound and now we're a humane society and we're a shelter for animals so um, they re relieve stress help staff uh, relieve some of their duties so we can do other duties um, if we can have volunteers come in and do some of the things that um, we allow them to do then um, it alleviates staff to do other things and you know from a perspective that we're nonprofit and funds are tight, yeah, it's, it's always funds nice. Are to, always tight. <laughs> <laughs> it's always nice to have volunteers who can come in and help and do and alleviate a paid position to do um, checking in right. and surgeries and working with potential adopters. Right. So volunteers really are a big help to us by um, taking on some of those responsibilities that we wish that we could do. I, I said earlier in the show that, you know, oftentimes we're asked, oh, it must be so cool to work at the shelter because you get to spend all your time, you know, playing with the cats <laughs> and the dogs. And they don't realize that our staff doesn't have a lot of hands-on with the animals and we rely very much on volunteers to help socialize them and make sure that they maintain that human contact. So I, it's really a win, would you agree it's a win-win for the animals, for the volunteers, and especially for our staff? Oh, definitely. I came, I moved to Oshkosh five years ago and didn't know anybody and brought some litter to donate and I said, oh, let me uh, volunteer there and, um, you know, got some animal fix there and also met new people, not just staff, but other volunteers. So made some great friendships, um, you know, if you're lonely or have some extra time on your hand, it's a great way to mm -hmm you know, fill the void in your life as well as the animals right. that are here. Well, and I think that's interesting that you brought it up that you started out as a volunteer. And 15 years ago when I came on board, I started out as a dog walker. So you never know, you might start out as a volunteer and end up uh, becoming an employee. Um, or Now, one thing I do want to ask about volunteering, um, there's different levels of volunteers. How is that based on hours or additional um, education? or is it different for cats and dogs? 
it's a combination of both. For um, There's three levels of volunteering. Um, everybody starts off as level one for cats and for dogs. And then um, with a certain amount of hours and some additional training, then you can move up to level two. And then our top level is level three or our senior volunteers. And that just doesn't mean you're old. That just means you have experience <laughs> with volunteering. Okay. So um, there's ways to move up and work with different animals. Okay. And you don't have to have that as a goal. I mean, if you want to stay at level one, you, you, you move through through this at your own pace, Correct. whatever whatever you want to do. But we do ask people to commit to, is it six hours? Six hours a month for a six month commitment. Okay, that's, that's, that goes very fast. It I mean, goes very fast. Yeah, so, well Sharon, I want to thank you again for being on the show and I'm hoping that, you know, our conversation here today will encourage a lot of people to come uh, to the Humane Society and think about volunteering either on site or public awareness uh, or even helping with some of our fundraising events. So. Hopefully, um, our show today will encourage a lot of people to come on board. Thanks Definitely. again. Thank you for having me. We hope that you've enjoyed our show today and meeting all of our wonderful volunteers. And we hope that we've given you an inspiration that maybe you too could join us here at the Oshkosh Area Humane Society and become a volunteer, whether it's here at the shelter or out into the community. Until next time, happy, happy tales, tales to you. you.